It's the nightcap for the opening round of the CAA Championship presented by the Virginia 529 College Savings Plan. It's the 11-6 matchup as the 11 seeded Hofstra Pride entering with a 10 and 21 record. Here, all oh man. Hofstra doing a great job of getting in front of their defenders. There's that touch from Buckner. Hofstra trying to prod the zone from the perimeter. Lester, baseline jumper, puts Hofstra back on top, 7-6. To Instead, they try to work it to Buckner. Finds a cutting field. His shot was blocked, but there's Buckner again. He's been everywhere early going. That's a dangerous pass there. That's a dangerous shot, but it goes down for Mike Moore. The matter of fact, they had a rotation at that one guard position. Here a turnover, and Neshaw taking it all the way. Their quickness, they'll be able to get you out on the perimeter. Mejia the mid-range, and the high archer goes through. Wouldn't mind if they were all this intensity. Bachner, the finish on the rebound, flush. They had an open McMillan, but the pass got tipped, and then eventually they end up with a steal to Georgia State, and White finishes on the other end. So you're not going to be able to get able to be a board all the way from him. Mishaw contorting and finishing with the kids. Physical as they dribble along the perimeter. Three here. Knocked down by White. Ali took it away. And he's Here's got numbers. The Buckner and one. In the last meeting, Moore only scored 13 points, so Georgia State was able to zone in on him, and Moore's having a tough time again. What a drive by Fields and a soft finger roll. Nothing for Moore to do. Open three. A while since they've had an open look, and Mejia only had it knocked free. And we're racing the other way. Richardson, how do he hold on to that one as he scoops it home? Their leading scorer, so have him out here for this last possession. And he's smart enough to know not to get in, get do anything where he's going to cause a foul. White, a soft touch on the floater with five left in the half. Mejia tried to drive in. It ends up in Lester's hands. His three won't go. Moore kept it alive, though. Wakoni ends up with it up and under good and a foul. Nice move in tight. And he'll head to the line to shoot one. Returns here from Hofstra, but nice patience to get it across. And then the lob with Buckner sending it in. And just a little careless play there as Hofstra has turned the ball over. Mejia, though, nothing but net on the three. After the 2010 season as Buckner another dunk in tight. Al Skinner's staff, when Skinner was let go at Boston College, Steve DeMeo was fired at Providence as an assistant, and Butler, another jam. Yeah, an interesting mix of coaches there, as you said. And I think you're seeing it a little, they're not being able to mesh this season, but as you said, the future is bright. As Fields puts it in and a foul, as Georgia State running away with this one. As Richardson couldn't get it to go. And shot out of the cannon the other way. Mejia, the finger roll finish. Frustration for him. Nice extra pass. Mejia, though, short with the three. And then McClendon couldn't pull in the offensive rebound. And the leak out as Richardson sends it in. And it's a party for Georgia State. In an ODU, they're always pro providing caliber teams. And nothing will change there on that front anytime soon. As and Fields takes Fields. Man, how good have they been near the rim? There's a runoff since then as Georgia State's going to get the 35-point lead, or 35-point win, excuse me. An emphatic victory. Ron Hunter's debut with the CAA championship, and it was an impressive one.